Seven, best and fairest. Mimi Hill. Now that's the sort of ovation that you're after. How does it feel to, to stand up here and have not just the respect of the room, but the acknowledgement that you're the best player for the Carlton Football Club in season seven? Oh, I, I'm so overwhelmed, sorry. Um, oh, I, I, it's amazing. I love this club and I love my teammates and I'm glad they got around me. That, feels, that felt really good. Um, but yeah, like we saw in the vote, um, abs, you're a legend and I've loved playing with you every minute of this season. And, um, it was only, was it one vote for? Two, but so it doesn't. Okay, it was very close. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> You're the best and fairest winner. You can say whatever you like. Um, I mean, uh, an AFLW NAB Rising Star is good, but a club best and fairest, that's where you show your coaches, your teammates and everyone what you do for your club and you go above and beyond. What does that recognition mean? I mean, it's been an amazing 2022 for you, especially when you consider the, the ACL in, in 2021. You've come back from that and haven't just come back. You've come back and, and dominated. And to think you've all done all of this in 20 years of, at 20 years of age, it's a, it's a fairly good resume you're building so far. How does it feel to stand here now as a, a best and fairest winner at one of the oldest football clubs in the country, therefore the world? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, to think back that I did my ACL last year is pretty crazy and I couldn't have predicted any of this. Um, and it feels, yeah, I'm so honoured to be standing up here um, for a club that has so much history. And I just, I know that we're on a really good projection and I can't wait um, to keep working with this team and this, this club. But yeah, I'm yeah so honoured to receive this award. Nice. Turn off, Phil. There's a little bit of... <laughs> We've almost got through the whole night with that one phone going. It was, it was going to be a record. So then we look forward to, to 2023 and, and it'll be season eight. And you've already achieved all of these things, certainly from an individual point of view. And perhaps we know what the team is looking forward to. What are you looking to do going into next season? Because there, there's only a, a few things along the way that you can still achieve in this, in this game. At such a young age, there's so many games ahead of you. What are you looking forward to and what are you going to be working on to take your game to even the next level, if there is enough? There's definitely a next level. Um, Kez and I have already started working hard. Um, she's my little running buddy and anyone else is welcome to join, please. Um, yeah, no, we're going to have a massive off-season and um, I said to Brett Munro that... Um, I, went, I go into his office often. Uh, we have good chats. Um, and I said that, like, this year, I know it was disappointing on some fronts, but, like... It, we don't go back to square one like we're on an upwards projection. Um, so I, I'm really excited. I know we just finished, but to get back into it. Um, the club, yeah, it's going to be good. Just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It, it, it. We heard from half before about the culture, about making sure that everything you do before you run out in the ground has to be right. Otherwise, what you do on the ground doesn't not necessarily matter, but it doesn't make it worth it. Whereas you seem that you, you're at a, a stage now that you... Everything's building. Everything's building towards something. What would you say to your, your fellow teammates? What would you say to people who are out there, the, the Blue Bagger supporters who are out there willing you and, and back at Icon Park, making sure that they're, they're watching in their, their navy blue? What would you say when you, you're looking forward but also looking back at, at everything you've built over the last 12 months? So? Oh, jeez, that's tough. Um, just get down to Icon Park. Um, we're, we're working very hard um, and it's... Yeah, it's not always a linear progression, so there's always going to be ups and downs. Um, but we have a brilliant, passionate group, um, and I love every single one of them. So I hope they stay on board. Um, get on the bus is what we like to say. Everyone get on the bus. Yeah. Get on the bus. Now, this is the highest individual award that we're handing out this evening. You've won the best and fairest. What would you like to say? No doubt there are some people that you'd like to thank. Yeah, um... Firstly, to my teammates, I've already said a lot about them, but I love them and they support me so much and they have charm looking at you. We're, we're going to have a good time tonight. Um, to the club, they've supported me so much through my ACL and, um, yeah, um, who else? The board. Um, I said to Luke uh, previously that I've got a plan. Um, we're going to get the baggers into finals and um, we're going to chat business later, so I look forward to that. Um, and my family, of course. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mum and Dad. They're here tonight. 
<laughs> they, they were actually waving. They were waving. I mean, they went after the recognition, but I think it is nice to thank the parents that he... Oh, I was getting there. Okay. Dad, you were a bit grumpy on the way here, but I hope you're not grumpy anymore. <laughs> oh, what, mate? Um, yeah, um, I got my best friend and my boyfriend here, so thanks for coming, you too. Love you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about it. Is there, am I forgetting someone? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't oh, matter. One person. My partner in crime, Abby McKay. Thanks for doing the tackles that I don't do. Love you. <laughs> you can say that when you win. It's all right. They're, they're still going to vote for you. Uh, if we can, please be upstanding. Charge your glasses because we have our Season 7 Carlton AFLW Best and Fairest winner. Please raise your glasses and congratulate Mimi Hill. Can you leave? No way, because the dance floor's right there. I've got word that you've got a favourite song that everyone knows about. So, as we celebrate Season 7, as we celebrate individual success, we celebrate Mimi Hill winning the best and fairest. That concludes formalities. Please enjoy your night. TJ Cassidy, it's over to you. The dance floor's open. Thank you so much. We look forward to Season 8 next year.